Hey, Shalom. All, pra Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakar Kudash. And as you can see here, this is um, from the Five News. It says, full scale Russian assault underway as Putin's troops enter Ukraine capital of Kiev. All right, which we know that this is. You know, biblical prophecy, man, the wars and rumors of wars that are taking place, man, on the earth. All right. And this is the beginning stages of World War Three. You know, but remember, the Lord said, you know, you're going to hear of wars and rumors of wars, but it ain't the end yet. So we know that things have to still come to pass, like the MOTB, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, um, the, the least of the flock drawing them out, meaning the, 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 the Israelis have to do something that's going to basically bring on a full-scale war. So things like that have to come to pass. But this is beautiful what we're seeing, man. War's beginning, man. That's going to come to Britain. It's going to come to the virgin daughter of Babylon, which is America. America's going to be touched with war too, man. See, this is beautiful, man. The, the Lord's going to start humbling the pride of the planet, man, of the Western world, of uh, America, of England, and Britain, of Esau, really, as a whole, the Edomites. Their pride's about to be humbled, man. See, this is World War Three. This is prophecy. World War Three is about to happen, man. I'm going to play some of this here. No. I'm going to re read some scriptures. Terrified locals in the north of the city filmed from above as the invaders inch closer to central Kiev. An assault from all angles. This camera in the south capturing ground forces advancing too before Russian troops disabled it. Trying to keep track of their movements, Ukrainian leaders have urged people to do whatever they can to stop them. Today, we are addressing everyone who can organize resistance to the enemy, who can help to fight with weapons, to those who can prepare Molotov cocktails to meet the enemy on our soil. And, the, the, and I was reading this, uh, reading about this earlier. They were telling their citizens, man, to, to they were, they had, there was a go, uh, government on one of the government. I believe it was like a website they were teaching their citizens, regular citizens, how to make Molotov cocktails. And I believe they even handed out weapons to regular citizens, man. So these, this is, this is, that's not even the army people, that's the citizens because they're being invaded. So these things are going to happen, man. You know, that's going to happen here. You're going to have all these proud people in these cities that we live in today. They're going to be touched with these things too, eventually. There's going to be troops on, in America, on American soil. There's going to be troops on British soil. Gurkha troops, as we've said over the years. You know, foreign in, foreign troops here bursting down your doors, man. You know, so all this game playing is about to stop, man. And I've been even even I've been seeing, man, like two thirds of our people, Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, still in a dumb, lost state, man. Here is all this stuffs happening in the world, and niggas still acting stupid, man. Beefing each other, killing one another, acting stupid out here when all this is going on on the planet, man. That's why the Lord's got a heavy judgment for two thirds of our people, man. Because remember, all these things that are about to happen, that's our Lord bringing it upon the earth and also to bring punishment upon the two-thirds, the non-believers of our people, man. Because we, the brothers that believe that going out there and teaching, making these videos, we, we get, we're trying to get delivered, man. We know these things are, are happening and it's going to get even worse, man, because we want the deliverance, man. All right, so I'm, I'm going to play some more of this. But this is beautiful because these are the wars and rumours of wars that we've been saying. We've been saying this for years, man, and it's happening. The darkness before dawn this morning broke and the skies above the capital were lit up by explosions. This one reported to have happened when a Russian missile was intercepted above the Pozniaki area in the early hours. Sustained airstrikes hitting areas on the outskirts of the city too. Daylight brought scenes like this and stories of panic. My mother screaming, wake up. So you can see already, man, the, the Russian troops, they're already destroying stuff over there, man. All right, and, and we know that, you know, outside of Russia, there's no nation, but well, among Esau, we know that Russia and America, they're the two biggest nuclear powers. They're the two biggest military powers, man. So eventually, you know, America's going to have to get involved. And we know that, according to the prophecy, the least of the flock, meaning Israel, they're going to have to do something. They're going to do something that's going to draw in everyone, particularly America, because America protects Israel. The state of Israel, the Israeli state, man, with the small hat people, they're protected by the American military. So something's, more things are about to happen, man. All right, more. These are, these, this is this is it, man. This is this is prophecy, man. All right, and this beautiful destruction's coming, death's coming, because this is the, the this is the nearing of Yahweh Shai's return, man. So I'm gonna read this here, Matthew 24 and 3. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came and 
came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Yeah, so when are you returning, Lord? When, are you, when is the time that we know you're coming back? All right? And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. All right? And that's happened. We've seen that. All right? People claiming to be the Messiah, people saying when the end of the world will be. And we've seen that Edomites, you know, claiming to be the Lord, two thirds heathens claiming to be the Lord, you know, like f t having this people follow them, saying that the end of the world will be at this time. But guess what? None of them went according to biblical prophecy. We, we, the brothers here at Great Millstone, we go through the biblical prophecy. We go through the right channels, man, which is scriptures. We go with what's happening on the planet and we equate it with the Bible to know our Lord's near, near to his coming. All right? So it says, so that's what I'm saying. So the Lord, there's been many that have tried to deceive, man. But guess what, man? You know, hey, man, the Lord ain't back yet. Because it weren't his time to come back yet. But we know we're getting close to that because of what's happening now. All right. So it says, and take, and Yahweh Shia answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Exactly. And that's what we're seeing now. The wars and rumors of wars, right? The, the um, Ukraine, the Russians invading Ukraine. All right. That's a war, man. That's wars beginning, all right? And we're hearing rumors of wars because now the other nations have to get involved. The Moabites have to get involved. Elam's going to get involved. You know, the Edomites from America will get involved. The, 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 the Amalekites are going to get involved. Everyone's going to be getting involved. This is what's going on now. This is, we've been saying this for years, man. And this is going to humble the pride of the planet, man, when this happens. Because here is just yesterday... You know, the past few years, you people have been talking shit, nightclubbing, talking, you know, clubbing, committing adultery, whatever it is that you've been doing out here, your sins, right? Committing sin and not repenting, talking to our two thirds of our people. And guess what? Now the Lord's going to put it on you now, man. Now's the time where that, you know, now you're going to seriously get tested, man. You know, and most of these people in this world, man, they're going to crumble because they haven't been in this, the most of two thirds of our people, they're going to crumble because they have not been in the spirit of the Lord. They have not been believing in the Lord, man. They fan their hand at us, man. I remember we used to go out there on Oxford Street, the Archeum man, pushing the word for you, not just us, but our apostles too, our apostle elders, all the brothers, man, pushing this word, man. We used to be out in the streets telling our people with the World War Three signs, showing them this, man, and they were laughing at us for years, man. And now it's happening, man. All right? Now these things are kicking off, man. But we know it ain't the end yet. So it says... It says, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And that see that ye be not troubled is for us, because the brothers that believe, man, we're the ones that have pretty much, you know, we've got more of a solid mind than the rest of the people in this world. We've got hope, all right? We've had hope, man. We've got hope and we've got something that we believe in, which is Yahweh Shai. So that's our hope, man. All right? So that's keeping our mind sane in this time, man. All right? It says, for nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And that's happening too. Earthquakes and that. Even as all this is taking place with the war Ukraine and Russia, man, there's been earthquakes taking place. You just have to look up these things. They're not going to tell you that on mainstream media. There's been earthquakes happening. All right? Pestilence is happening. They were, um, the CVID-19, that, that's been going on. All of a sudden, that's not a big issue now in the media, the CVID-19. And man, you'd be surprised tomorrow, you wake up, to, don't be surprised tomorrow when you wake up tomorrow and Esau releases an even worse pandemic than the CVID-19 thing. All right? It says, and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows, all right? And this, this is the beginning of sorrows, all right? What we're seeing with the Ukraine and Russia and whatnot right now, these are the beginning stages, man. These are the beginning of sorrows, man. All right, so it's only going to get worse from here. M more sorrows are coming, more pains coming, more dis destructions coming, man. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all, of all nations for my namesake. And that's about to happen to the Akiya, man. The, uh, us that believe in Yahweh Shai, our time's coming, our time, our, um, uh, what do you call it, hour of temptation is approaching, man. This is what we're living, coming to, man. Our, our time, our main, our major test is about to come upon us too, man. The brothers, the believing brothers, man. All right, this is coming for, uh, for us too, brothers, man. All right, but the Lord's going to deliver us from this. Then shall they, the Lord's going to deliver us from these times of affliction, man. That's why we've been doing this work. 
This is really exciting for us, man. So I'm going to read this here. This is Joel. Joel 3. And I'll just read from 9. You know, so this is Joel 3 and 9. It says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, let them come up. And this is what's happening now. The Gentiles are the other nations, all right? The Edomites, the Moabites, the Elamites, the Cushites, you know, the, um, you know, all of these, you know, Japhites, pretty much all these nations, man, all right? So proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. It says, so lucky. Proclaim you this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the sin. That's how it always happens, man. Whenever you're fo doing a video, now all of a sudden everyone wants to message you, man. You know your family, worldly people. You know what I mean? But that's all. That's all good. It is all good. Proclaim you this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. And that's what's happening now. All right. The Gentiles are getting ready for war. These other heathen nations. They're gonna be drawn into these wars, man. These people were once, um, where well it says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears, let the weak say I'm strong. Exactly, and that's what's happening now. Like the Chinese, they're gonna get involved in this situation. All the world, world's gonna get involved in this, man. And then the Moabites, they were once just rice herders, man. You know, for, for a little while, the, the Russian Edomites, they weren't really saying nothing, man. They were, they were always a superpower, but they you know, were kind of not talked about for a while, but they were always still there, all right? They're the ones that were always going to be the main force against America. Which they're, they're, those two are brothers, man. They're both Edomites. Russians and American so-called white people and Russian so-called white people. They're the same people, man. You're Edomites. You just have different ideologies. But the Lord, that's the Lord that did that, man. Different mentalities. But that's the Lord that's done that. East versus West type of thing. But now you're going to lock horns, man. Which is going to bring, the end, bring about the end of America, man. Which is Babylon the Great. All right? So beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say I'm strong. And that's what's happened, man. The weaker nations, at one point, e now Elam's a nuclear power, but they were weak at one point. Now they have nuclear power. Now they have a massive military. So the weak, they have said they are, they are strong. All right, all for these great um, days that are approaching, judgment days. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about thither. Cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Which the valley of Yahweh Shapat is the, the, the Armageddon. Armageddon, the valley of the troops, man. All right? Which is, the, 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 the way the, which is in the Middle East where the Lord's going to judge all them. So something's going to happen. We know the least of the flock. The, the small hats are going to do something that's going to bring everyone. Just, it's going to be a full-scale war, man. But the Middle East is going to be where the heavy judgment is going to be too, man. All right? So it says, Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Yahweh Shapat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen that are round about. And that's what, all the heathen round about. And that's what the Lord's going to do. He's going to judge all them. He's going to judge Esau. He's going to judge Moab. He's going to judge Ishmael. I forgot. I can't forget about them, man. He's going to judge all these nations, man. So all this that's taking place is exciting for us brothers in this faith, man, because... You know, pretty much this is what we've been waiting for, man. This is what we've been waiting for, man. So I'm going to read this here. All right, this is Revelation 11 and 14. Revelation 11 and 14, it says, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly, all right? Yeah, so we know that World War One's past, World War Two's past, and the third woe cometh quickly, which is the time we're approaching in. Because it's inevitable. We've been saying this for years, according to the Bible. It was not us. We were speaking Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai's word. But we've been saying this, man, and it's, it's happening. The Third World War is nearing, man, which is going to be the... This is going to be truly the, the last war. This, is the, this, this Third World War is going to last time Edomites are ever going to rule, man. This is when Yahweh Shai is coming back in the midst of that, you know, to, to bring these heathens down, man. To, to finally bring righteousness to the earth. And if you didn't know, Yahweh Shai is a so-called black man, by the way, all right? And he's, going, he's the one whom the world ignorantly calls that J word, but he's going to come back and sit on the throne and he's going to rule, man. And he's going to bring judgments, man. So you know with that, I'm just going to say all praises unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Kudash. Shalom.